Now, the Golden State Warriors had a heartbreaking oh, upset. Yeah. What was your reaction when it got pushed to a game seven and just everything unfolded? I felt like in a weird way that after Cleveland won game five, for some reason I felt like it was going to game seven, but I envisioned us winning on our home floor. That was the yeah. only part that I was wrong about. Um, momentum is a monster. And, uh, you know, you can see LeBron, like, he didn't want us to win and beat him again on his home floor in another game six, uh, like it was last year. And the dude played without a conscience. You know, obviously Cleveland hadn't, hadn't won a championship in, in many, many, many decades. And, and that was this whole point of going back to Cleveland. And, you know, you got to tip your hat to him. I'm disappointed my guys lost. But we're a young team and we're going to bounce back. But you got to show respect to LeBron and Cleveland. And um, I'm actually happy for Cleveland that they were able to kind of get over the hump. Now, two things. Have you talked to Steph Curry since? Mm -hmm. And you being a longstanding champion in your respective sport, how do champions bounce back from like, I, 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 things I, like I, that? I've kind of left those guys alone. You know, I, I've, I've talked to, you know, some of our mutual friends. And, you know, I text, uh, I text Draymond after the game. And I told him, man, I don't need a response. You know, a response. I just want to let you know, bro, y'all battled. You came up short, man, but, you know, rest up, and, and I know y'all will be back next year. So those guys are competitors. They're coming back, you know. Um, sometimes the media and stuff, they'll sway with, with a particular fighter or a particular team based on who's hot, but, but true champions like them, um, that's going to bother them until they, until they redeem themselves. So trust me, they're going to put in the work this offseason, and um, it's no guarantees, but I know they'll be back in contention next year. And what does it feel like to be back at home? Your fans get to come see your next fight as well? Oh, it's exciting, man. This is a blessing. This is what I've always envisioned as a kid when I used to drive past uh, Oracle Arena uh, going down 880 to uh, get to King's Boxing Gym. You know, I used to point at that arena and wonder and even ask if I, if I ever could make it there. And, and Virg used to tell me one day you're going to headline there. And to be able to do that, um, you know, back to back like we have the last couple of years has been amazing. It's great for the... For the for the economy here in Oakland is great for just the, the just the people in general, and uh, I'm not going to apologize for fighting at home, man. It's a beautiful thing.